Welcome. Today I'm going to talk about What is a Jefferson wingback chair? The chairs that Thomas Jefferson used in his home at Monticello were not wingbacks. The most striking chair Jefferson owned was a custom-made, barrel-shaped red leather armchair of French design, which revolved. In furniture stores, many styles of wingback chairs are labeled Jefferson wingback chairs, particularly those resembling chairs of late 1700s New England. Characteristics A wingback chair is an upholstered chair with a tall back and wide sides set at a 90-degree angle to the back, resembling wings. The sides rise from flat arm rests. The purpose of the wingback chair was to protect the person resting or reading in it from drafts. A person would turn the chair to face the hearth, the only source of heat in 1700s homes, and the wings soaked up the fire's warmth. History The first wingback chairs were made of wood and used with a tall back cushion and a square seat cushion. They originated in England. In New England, the wingback was upholstered for comfort and set atop a set of Chippendale or Queen Anne legs. The chair commonly called the Jefferson or Washington wingback has particularly wide side panels, and its upholstery is often accented with exposed nail heads. Jefferson's Armchair At Monticello, Jefferson's office contained a work table, a Windsor bench and his revolving chair. The chair is credited to Monticello furniture maker Thomas Burling of New York, who had made one for George Washington. Jefferson's was made in 1790, and he brought it back with him after serving as Secretary of State. Jefferson's Furnishings Jefferson was fascinated by mechanical devices, so he also commissioned a revolving book stand, a table with a revolving top and a revolving Windsor chair. He brought the Windsor chair back to Monticello with him in 1776 after using it in Philadelphia to draft the Declaration of Independence. The chair rotated on a central spindle and rollers made of window sash pulleys. Thanks for watching.